Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Johnny and Patricia. If you're new here, make sure to stick around and hit that subscribe button down below. I do a lot of plus size content, thrifting, styling, some of everything, and I do a lot of shopping and a lot of hauls. <laughs> but today I did want to do something different. I wanted to talk about the 10 summer trims that I'm loving, and I think they look great on plus size bodies and they flatter us very, very well. Okay, let's do it. Um, and also, y'all, let me know if y'all like this setup. I wanted to do a different angle. This is just my shoe wall. <sighs> like I said. Like I always say, please don't judge me. Of course, I have a shopping problem, but yeah. <laughs> I just want to do this angle. I have a notepad like y'all. We're about to get serious. I'm going to put up examples of every trend that I'm talking about. Most of the examples will be me because I've definitely wore half this stuff already in the summer just started. But yeah, I love all of them. And 10 out of 10 would recommend for anybody's shape, anybody size, any height. They look great on all of them. Number one, which y'all should have knew would be number one, is the bubble hem. I'm obsessed with it. The dresses, the skirts, the shirts. Give it to me all. Give it all to me. So I'm going to post this outfit right here. I had this red skirt on that I picked up from H&M. I think they're still sold out, which is annoying. But I also have this dress from Shein, and it has, like, this little Adidas, like, kind of stripe on the side. I'll post that picture here. I haven't worn that yet. I want to wear that this weekend. But just to let y'all know the type of inspo that I've been doing with it, 10 out of 10 recommend. And it's usually affordable. I found a lot of pieces at Shein, H&M. Forever 21, all those places. So yeah, that's number one on my list. I love it. I kind of went too hard on it and I don't need to buy anymore. But that's the thing. These trends, half of them, I wouldn't just wear them in the summertime. I'm going to wear them in the fall as well. So the next th trend is the jersey trend. I haven't tried this trend yet myself, but I do have a mood board of how I want to style it. I'll post that right here. So yeah, for my outfits, I also make mood boards. It gets real serious. I love putting looks together. I love like styling the things I have multiple ways. And the mood board really, really helps me do that. So I've seen a lot of girls wearing the um, jerseys with a skirt or jerseys with some cargo shorts, which I love that trend as well. So yeah, this is just how I plan to wear it, a jersey and then like a little pleated skirt. Super cute. Super, super cute. And I've seen Talitha, I think her name is Talitha, Talithia on <laughs> TikTok. She started with some a crop jersey with some jeans. Ate so bad. So i actually been loving the jersey trend and I bought one from H&M. I don't know. I think you could buy them anywhere, but I didn't want to pay, like, a lot of money for a jersey if it was something I just wanted to experiment with, you know? So, that brings me to my next trend, and it's cargo shorts. So, I know in the fall, it was a lot of cargo pants, and I'm and I'm still wearing them. I don't know about everybody else. I love a good cargo pant. The cargo short, it took me some getting used to, but I picked up some from Shein. I haven't styled them yet, but here's the move board of how I plan to style them. I have an army print pair. And then, I bought a black pair and a denim pair. I don't know. I really love the like juxtaposition of cargo pants and a little dainty top or cargo pants and a little tube top. Cargo shorts, excuse me. I love it with a little heel. Ate it up. But for the move board, I'm going to wear those with this top I got from Shein and then some boots. In my mind, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's going to be, you know, something. So the next trend is really Sambas. Y'all, these Sambas have been trending for like yet last year or so. I don't know. And I love them, but my feet are too wide for them. I don't know if it's just me that have that problem, but I feel like they hurt real, real bad. So I bought a dupe from um I bought a dupe from Marshalls and I bought a dupe from Steve Madden. I'll post pictures of me how I styled them both. But I just the Sambas, they're so cute, they're so dainty. They go with dresses, skirts, shorts. All these trends I'm listing, you could put them on with a pair of Sambas and you 10 out of 10, good to go. But like I said, I have really wide feet. And I don't think they look good on my foot or they just look too painful. So I don't know. The Steve Madden ones seem really more stretchy to me. So save myself some money because I'm like, I never cared about the name. I want to be comfortable above all else. <laughs> and the next trend, this has been very contra controversy because the girls keep saying we too grown to be doing it. But like, why are we putting age limits on stuff? But anyway, it's the hair bow trend. I love it so much. I think it's so cute. So girly, so feminine. Why not? Why not? Why we can't wear bows in our hair? I went to see Janae Aiko last weekend and there was so many hair bows everywhere. And I was like, this is what girlhood is about. Like, put a hair bow in your hair and keep it pushing. I styled one and I'll post it here. I love it so much. I styled a hair bow with literally three other trends I'm going to name. <laughs> so, yeah, I was just all trended up. But, like, I love the look. It was so cute. It was so feminine. It was so girly. I got a whole pack of uh, hair bows from Shein probably for, like, $5. Shein is a good place. It's like an online just Dollar Tree at this point. It's a good place to try all the trends without spending too much money. And then the next trend, I'm actually, I wasn't here for it, but now I'm actually really here for it. Is the fruit t-shirt trend. Like, 
I don't know if y'all been seeing it, but it's been like fruits on t-shirts, on tank tops, on everything. I actually have an apples t-shirt and I started with the red bubble skirt that I talked about in the beginning. Post a picture here. Super cute look. Now that I have that one shirt, I went and bought a grapes t-shirt, an orange t-shirt, a cherry. The cherries has really been doing it for me too. I don't know the fruits. The fruit prints are really big cute. My kitchen right now is lemon themed. I'll post a picture of how they look so cute. I don't know. Something about it just gives summer. It gives fresh. Love it, Dio. And the next trend you already know is the tennis skirt. They gonna say we look like Serena Williams all summer. Do you think I care? I don't care. <laughs> but I love a good tennis skirt. You can wear a tennis skirt with literally the jersey that I named. Put a hair bow in your head. Tennis skirts. Y'all know I, I've been loving the tennis skirt forever. I just feel like, especially for my height and my the way my stomach sits, I feel like the tennis skirts flatter me really, really well. And I don't feel as heavy, you know? Not saying I'm trying to be discreet or hide my stomach, but it just it accentuates it in the best way possible, in my personal opinion. So I'm gonna insert some outfits that I wore with my tennis skirts. That's me. I'm gonna do like I did like five outfits. I wear tennis skirts all the time, and I usually wear them with like a crop top. But like I, you could wear it with the fruit tee that I named. You could put them on with some sambas. Put it on with some jersey, like a jersey. Literally any and every day. Love the tennis skirt. And I know people have been asking me like where I find a lot of them. Honestly, play those closet because the girls get over the trend real fast and they try to go resell it. But I still be liking it. Like I'm gonna wear the tennis skirts in fall. I wore them last fall, the winter time. Just put some stockings on, they're so versatile. Once we realize how to make things work for us all year round and not just for that season, I think we'll be winning. The next trend is also controversial. I don't know why the girls be mad to the ruffle socks. I don't know. I love a ruffle sock down. It gives me Easter <laughs> with the little Mary jeans. I love it so much. I styled a ruffle skirt with like a little peplum dress and a hair bow. I went all the way in with it. Post a picture here and I love it. And I'm gonna keep doing it. I love it so much. It's so fun. Once again, I got a whole pack of socks from Shein for like $5. But they're cute and along with the ruffle socks i always see like the scrunch socks i don't know if those are cute but like i like the ruffles a little bit more so i've been gravitating towards that way more Whew. talking 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 so the next trend is charm necklaces i used to love charm necklaces and charm bracelets in middle school i don't know what happened and i stopped but like i still have a juicy couture bracelet from like 2015 no no not even 2015 let me get my years together it was 2012 Love it so much. So I went to Michael's and I DIY my own. If you follow me on Instagram or even TikTok, I post a reel there, but I'll post a bit, the little short form here so y'all can see it. Super affordable, under $20. And it was a fun activity to do. If you're looking for some fun and cheap stuff to do this summer, make you some charm bracelets. I found this charm necklace from Marshalls. I'm gonna insert the picture. I wore that when I wore the dress with the sambas and the, the ruffles and the hair blow. Like, girl, I put all the trends on and I was good to go. <laughs> but it was super affordable. And I love like the seashell necklace the girls been finding. I found one on Shein, but I want the one. I don't know if y'all seen it. I'll post a picture. Excuse me. It's been going viral on TikTok. And they just have chunky seashells and starfish. Love it so, so much. So, so much. The last trend, I was against it, but I'm here for it. It's a good vest. See, back in the fall and the winter, I was against, I was against puffer vests. Now, looking at my clothing rack, I have like eight of them. So usually I'm not, I don't really hop on trends fast. I'll be having to see like, will it work for my own personal style before I just agree to do it. So it's like the little suiting vest, I guess you want to call it. I styled one with some flowy pants, post a picture here that I got from H&M. Then I thrifted one. So like I've been here for, they're very versatile. Like I said, you could wear the vest, the cargo shorts and the sambas. So all the trends together. You could wear the vest, the tennis skirt and the sambas. So once I seen how versatile they were, I was like, okay, I'm here for it. You could put a button up under it. You could put it over a dress. I love it. So, y'all, these are just all the trends I've been loving. Bubble hem, jersey, cargo shorts, sambas, hair bow, fruit tea, tennis skirt, ruffle socks, charm necklaces and bracelets, and vests. Love them so much. Y'all should participate. We still got, like, a month and a half of summer left. I don't know why everybody trying to speed it up, but I'm having a time. So, like, let's slow down. Get us a little bubble skirt and fruit tea and have fun. But, yeah, I hope y'all like this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Jadea Patricia, TikTok as well. I'm going to try to do different videos all the time rather than just showing y'all clothes. Like, that could be boring even for me to keep filming. So, yeah, hope y'all like this video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.